Hello, how's it going people on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to career mode on PJ Tour or EA Sports PJ Tour Golf and just a little update on my health. Uh, I put a video out the other day there which was the, my birthday Gran Turismo uh, car that I got and that was the first video I think I've uploaded for about, I was going to say about two weeks. Um, whether it's two weeks or whether it's like 10 days, or t I don't know exactly what it was, but um, try and make this as quick as possible. So, last year I had my left foot, I had plantar fasciitis, which is basically an issue you have with your heel. Now, I am an older person, uh, I'm actually just celebrated my 50th birthday, so... Plantar fasciitis is something that you can basically, you can go to bed one day, wake up the next day, and you've got it. And it, it can be there for, like, a couple of days. It can be there for weeks, months, year. I mean, it, it's just one of those things. It, it comes and it goes. It's basically like um, like a stiffness of the, the instep or the muscle that goes. It's between your heel and your instep, basically. So I was walking about, I was limping about for a couple of months, which caused me, especially in the house, to basically tiptoe about the house on, on my left side of my foot, which basically caused uh, caused like a, a, a pressure blister, which turned into, I think, like an ulcer on my left foot, which I tried to, um, I tried to basically... I'll, I'll get this game going actually. Well, that's actually quite loud. So I basically tried to kind of self, like self medicate almost. Um, oh my god, that's quite loud. Um, so I tried to self medicate. You know, sanding it back and all that stuff. Right, the wind is sixty nine. Just remember that, and it, it basically just didn't get any better. I thought it was a blister initially. EA Sports and the PGA Tour and, uh, are proud to present the it kinda race didn't go away for the FedEx um, Cup. This afternoon from the wetlands, we bring you live third round coverage. Of I think the basically I, I discovered that well, it kinda was maybe wasn't a blister. Be in for a that it was of golf here. like Has something else uh, that was, that Saturday, was playing a, a part. Our leader here on Saturday right, is still is quite loud. Which I just trying to adjust. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. Oh no, I was going the wrong way before. Um, so yeah, it, it was. Um, it, it it just looked like a blister, but it, it kind of transpired to to be more than just a blister, and it turned out to be a bit of an ulcer. So um, I don't that really. I'm not a great lover of doctors. Of I'm not going to lie. Um, and that you know, it's one of those fine. things that I try and I, I try to do self service, like trying to. Tidy it up myself, keep it clean. Still well over three hundred yards to the flight. Basically, it got infected, so and I had an issue with my worn left leg. I had a really weird skin rash and tightness of the 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 leg. Basically, that then dissipated, and then about two weeks after that, I developed um, like an upper, almost like a, an upper leg issue. So I had a lot of issues. Um, basically, what happened that needs to make over that tree. I think it maybe did. Um, basically, it turned into an infection, sure he got every which I've had. I, I felt get home to this par like not well two, for quite a period of time. Um, like probably the last, I, I would probably easily say four weeks, maybe even more four to six weeks I just felt like ill like I just didn't feel right um, so I went to my work uh, this was last like last week not this week here but the week before that so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I was working off Friday and I was meant to be on Saturday I basically did my, my shifts and I got to like Wednesday when I finished I just felt I just didn't feel great 
I, I really did. I really was in a bad place. Um, so got ready for my work on Thursday. Um, made it into my work. Got up though, and I just didn't feel uh, right. That's good technique. My upper inner right thigh, from my Not groin down by my knee, had a, a red. Like right, my skin was red, and I had a very enlarged, um, like. I, I don't know if it's a combination of your your vascular type of thing or whatever it was, but but I basically had a inflammation in, in that part of my leg. Uh, so I went to work and I I just I, I really struggled like I I just could not make it, um, and I basically said yeah, I need to go good, home. And that was after like maybe thirty forty minutes in my shift. That means so I basically got home under par. and. Woke up the next day, actually went for a bath. On to the second hole, par three of and I looked at my toe, my toe was discovered. I honestly thought I was going to lose the toe. Like, right. in my head, but I'm thinking that. Go. But they don't that's really got infected, on the green. and it's actually so, turning. You know, like, and in my head, I'm thinking like gangrene, and just basically it's going to fall off, or I'm going to lose it, I'm going to have to get it amputated. And this was all going through my head, you know, it's like, kind of. In a way, it was kind of like silly thoughts, but y your mind does play, can play, not tricks, but your mind can actually like run through a lot of scenarios and not good scenarios. And so basically, that, that was Thursday. Green, I was off Friday, so I phoned my mum and dad because I don't drive. Now a second to this part three. And my dad basically dropped me off at 80. I, I stumbled in um, and that was roughly it. I basically went into the system, um, got checked out initially, then got brought back in because they do a kind of initial assessment to Frank. see if it's something that could be quickly so, fixed. So went back into the waiting room, then when I got back in, I was on, on a bed and that was it. You know, basically blood tests. My white blood cells were through the roof, so my body was fighting an infection. Um, I was basically in hospital for six days, so um, get pumped full of uh, antibiotics to and intravenous well in drip. Control of this tournament. Loads of tests. Swab results indicated that I had a, a strep A virus in my, in my foot, which went probably now, infected with that infection I had on my, my leg and the lower part of my leg. Uh, can be down the and a strap where I caught it. Sort of it. And it's called only 160, as well. but if you're a mere mortal, 280, so, 180, the hole becomes that much longer, on antibiotics, that much and basically, <coughs> when I came, just before I came out of hospital, I went to the podiatry unit, which is people that deal with their uh, feet, and uh, basically got my foot cleaned, they, they basically take a scalpel, my feet were fine, my blood pressures, my blood sugars, my pulse, well, you can't walk Everything out and drop it in my body that. was, was that absolutely shot right there. fit and healthy. My feet were fit and healthy, blood Second flow, pulse, ahead, all that stuff. Go to Iona Steven. So she cleaned up the, the, the wound with a scalpel and behind, what a difference. So I mean, I went from being sort of having this, this bloody, hard skin, just horrible, infected. Oh, it, was just, it was just horrible, really just horrible. And uh, got it cleaned up, and, uh, and I'm here. I got, I got home good. on Thursday, Leading is and one thing, feel so much better. I don't really have a lot of energy. Uh, I can't really walk too far, um, but four feet now, four I go back 30. next Thursday to see the podiatry to see how how it's initially starting to heal. Um, but yeah, I was I was through the ringer basically. Okay, nicely done. That's but I'm back. Uh, I'm able to make videos. And the, even playing my PlayStation, I, I, I didn't have a lot of time. I just started playing like uh, around the golf. I just getting really like, confused. I just couldn't be bothered with it. But that, and I've also picked up a bit of a cold, which is why I sound a bit nasally. <coughs> so, oh, excuse me. I really need a tissue. So I celebrated my 50th birthday in hospital. Uh, I went in Friday, my birthday was on Sunday. 
So that was that. That was my birthday. Um, not really done much since I've come home either to celebrate it. I, I can maybe celebrate it next week sometime. Um, just really tired at the moment. But and we're, we're fitting healthy. Which, green, but not to be honest, when I went in, my dad's a diabetic and my mum has got high blood pressure. Now, from so I was expecting line, one or maybe second. both of those issues to hit me, but I, I'm not a diabetic and I don't have high blood pressure. And as I say, all, all my vitals were um, just healthy. You know, it's which is good. You know, that there's a couple of things that have come out of this. You know, I've learned that I'm, I'm kind of like fully functional. Right. Anyway, enough about me. Let's uh, let's get on to this this golf tournament. So we're actually winning this by quite a big margin. Um, I have switched to the Mizuno putter. I thought because I'm a Mizuno player at the moment, contracted. Uh, I thought I would uh, use the Mizuno Potter, which is quite nice actually. What is this? Is this up? No, it's pretty level. So I've been trial and playing on my own, just for quickness. I think I've, gonna keep I need to check if I've got the last round right as playing with uh, an AI, which I might do for the last round. Because we're absolutely good just bombing ahead here. here at the wetlands. Part five, and it's a good one. But that's has been an easier yards. course. Coming now to another long par five, the 600. I'm back yards, home now, and I'm just to glad to be out of the, left, but out of the woods, as you say. Long hitters trying to get home in too. You know, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't know. I'm not great over the doctors, um, you know. But to, to be honest, I should have went and weeks ago and got it fixed. And that'll be just fine. But you know, I left it. I, I left it to the point where. It, it potentially could have got really bad. I could have lost my Gonna leg, take a big my foot even. To get there, but a if it went into the bone, second, it could have been... The part five. There's just so many complications. I don't know if we're going to gain... I think we just play this draw here. I don't know if we're going to gain much from this, so let's just do it. Are we only getting this... Uh, Drawn fade thing down to a fine art now. I mean, we probably could have went up a couple of clubs and tried to go for the green, but just play, just just play the the course. But yeah, I mean, it just shows you just how quickly things can go south. Now it's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look uh, at Birdie. So lightly up. Bit below. In a pretty good spot. It might move gently to his right as it works back up the slope. Oh, yeah, this course, is, yes. this course has been easy to play. Slope, it is in I think we're looking as if we're going to win this That's pretty, uh, pretty handsome under par. You might see Amazon in the clubhouse. He's two shot sixty-five. Six here at the wetlands, and Frank, how does that water factor into the way you play this hole? So I've, six, I've quite enjoyed playing without the AI just for speed. To the run it means I get one video out instead of the, the two-part video. Be worth considering for the short hitters. Let's go. To try and flash it across oh, the I'm narrowest go part of these wetlands, two hundred and seventy-six yards, and of course, the more horsepower you got, actually, the easier this tee shot. Becomes. Oh, my nose is. Actually running. Oh my goodness! They call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle. Also, I, I don't know. It depends what, what videos you watch, now, but I have been doing a, a Project out, Fifty video, which basically was when I turned when I turned forty nine, was going to document um, getting to my fiftieth birthday. And just documenting where I am in, in fitness, like, like cycling and stuff. Uh, but as I say, unfortunately, that that kind of didn't materialise. Um, I, did, I did go out on my bike, but not as much. Um, and then really, the, when I got the plantar fasciitis, uh, it, it kind of hindered my, my cycle towards that end. In golf, Especially you've heard the term mulligan, you'd love that a do over there, really wouldn't you? I mean, that's just... Kind of ramp it up quite a bit from and that get, range. get that fitness, you know, like a kind of... Like a last-ditch attempt at the Project 50, but... 
I'll probably do a video, maybe not soon. I don't know when I'll be able to be back on my bike though. Um, possibility of getting with, with, with my bike shoe on, but I, do, I don't want to really, I don't want to tempt fate. I might wait till Thursday and just find out where the healing process is and then maybe I can, I can start going on my bike again. But I don't really want to push it too much. Yeah, Project yep, 50 was a, a it was a good concept. One, it it, it there, really failed. For, uh, it, it fell flat on its face. Um, the last time I was out my bike uh, was I think it was like January the fourth, and I did a little sort of four or five mile hop. Um, at that time, I didn't have any like, inspection feel, and that came I think. Lead like a week after that I, I would say maybe even a week and a half after that video right, was when the kind of ill feeling stuff came in my yards. foot was, was, was still it's sore it was, uh, you know it, it, it could be problematic some days some days it could be actually to the left. kind of reasonable but it just wasn't a good, a good the thing you to protect a shot that goes too far or too left and you feed the cats soon I think But yeah, it's no issues here. That is into the fairway. It was kind of a, a lesson learned, you know. To if I've got something wrong, just to go to the doctor. You know, I think, I think my fear with the doctor was, and I'm like prior to this. It's kind of funny in a way because, you know, when doctors, like, you could be fit and healthy. Um, and then you go to the doctors and then all of a sudden you're taking pills for this and pills for that and you've got, you know, you're, you're a diabetic and you're this and you're that and, you know, really there's a lot of things can happen. Shot on the button to this part but I think five, going to the hospital meant that it kind of forced stop. my hand. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. And, a birdie chance like, determining just one in where my health is His third from the bunker. because of this infection, because I had an issue. But they basically check that anyway. That's like a, that's like a bog standard thing you get. So they're checking your vitals, and it, it, it means that, I suppose in a way, I've, I've got a clean bill of health. You know, I know that my, 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 bloods, my bloods are fine, my pre blood pressure's fine, pulse, heart rate, um, blood right, sugar. Exactly what you're you know, all this stuff is actually checking out. So it, in a way, it's, in play. It, it, it was a scary experience, uh, being in hospital. First time I'd ever been in hospital for any, like an extended stay. Um, just shut the door there, because my wife's playing music up there. Um, so, you know, it was scary, but in a way, it, it actually showed that I'm, I'm, I'm fairly healthy, which is, which is good. You know, that, that's a, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plenty of pace to get up but yeah, we're, we're and we're, we're kind of recovering now. Recovery process is started. Now. Shot, we arrive now at the 203 yard par 3 8. But is it Nikon? Nikon suddenly lost the ability to open a door. Short of it, and the green narrows toward the back. Not very good. I'm just coming. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's an eye opener, you know. Should never let anything that's uh, anything go. And it's quite funny as well. Um, when I talked to the podiatrist and, and, and this, you know, because there's a chance I was going to get home, I was going to get discharged and then come back in for the podiatry. Um, appointment I had and I asked I said can I take this plaster off and go for a bath and soak it and they were like no 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 don't don't wet it because the kind of like wetting it actually brings in germs into the, the wound and that's why it was such a difficult thing I had it, it it's almost like you're kind of snookered to what you can do you can't really touch it you can't really 
like sand it or trim it or you know whatever <coughs> so really you've got an open wound in your foot that you can't really do too much about you really have to go to a foot specialist which actually can be quite expensive if you go through the NHS you may have to wait to get it treated but the caveat to that is that it, it's it can be that bad a problem that it can lead to what I got was you know infection and you know possible really bad bad uh, health concerns uh, through getting infected so it's, it's a bit of a weird one you know it, it's okay good roll there it just wasn't a, a good thing a, a, you know, to, to have it and, oh, and not, on your foot is not a good a, a good place to get an injury like that because you're always you know, to stay off your feet it actually is quite difficult if you've got you've got to go to the toilet guess what you've got to go on your feet but i've got like a pressure for the bombers a, 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 a pressure boot i can wear against your approach shot and i've got a dress on it that i've got to keep on for a week so, but yeah, we're actually pounding this golf course. This one started up the right side. So that's my update. Um, and no issues so I'm here, there. I'm alive. Good shot in the you short know. grass. But I, I, to be honest, I, I met a lot of people in there, and the the nursing staff were absolutely amazing. Like. The job that those guys do is just absolutely amazing. You know, they, they, they do such a good job. And they do that day in, day out as well. Had half the equation on that shot, the distance. Not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark. And, well, oh, let's see how good his nose is bad. Shoot. He has a 12 footer here. Yeah, it's quite an easy yeah, course. Uh, I'm not really Continue. struggling. Now, five under on and that's a 5 under 37. <coughs> Sorry, 5 under 32. We begin oh, the inward nine at the wetlands here. with the lengthy par three tent. That was if we're going to get into the last round, yards, basically. Protecting the front of I mean, the if we get paired up with Deke Matsuyama. As a chance to be wet. I mean, it depends how well he put. I mean, it, it could maybe scare us a little, but uh, I, I'm going to actually hit this just easy. Into the wind. It should stop quick. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, the green. Knows. good shot. Sorry for stuff on. So I was at 290 now, subscribers. I'm back to 289 actually. Yeah, and it's certainly no gimme for I thought, I thought, I thought for one minute there I was going to actually the like, of the cup. close in in the Main 500. Consideration has to be about pace. Uh, I was breaking a bit more than that. It's point eight. Probably should have realised it was maybe going to break more. Point three above. Safely in. It's a par here at the tenth. Quite a lot of par fives. I mean, there's one, two, three. Is that three or four in the front nine? Par four eleven. Frank, we're looking at 443 yards. Yeah, the Wetlands Golf Course is a really good driving course. This is another example here, Rich, where the fairway is just wide enough to reward a good tee shot, and then those two bunkers don't really be, come into yeah, play. But Wetlands becomes very difficult Probably when really you just could. start to stray a little bit off the fairway. Then you start to see why those bunkers are put there. Skid it hitting that tree arch with. So yeah, bike wise, uh, I don't know when I'll be back on the cycle. Um, Second shot up coming I, I, with I don't really want to in the front left. Because the way that your your, your feet well, I use uh, uh, cleats, so you clip in into the pedal, which means that 
you actually pedal on the affected area of, of, of my foot so I don't want to put pressure on it so I kind of want to really just go for a cycle maybe not like maybe change the the, the quick position so I'm a, a little bit more forward but I, I just want to really get out my bike I, I've, I've missed it so much but at the same time I don't really want to push it and you end up causing issues. Uh, maybe a little too pumped up there. That just flew past the flag, but still an outside chance for a birdie. Two point five below. This is probably going to break quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, a lot more. You know, it's, that's one of those parts you get. Okay, it's yeah, that really was a big breaking putt, and I really talked myself out of it. Eleven I feet away. Uphill quite a bit. Yeah, mm, straight because we're hitting the pace. Two by. I think that's going to be a bogey. Yeah. Really, that first pop where it's there. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey here at number 11. Unfortunately, with a big lead already, very little Both damage done. Flies in the front, two in the back. So on this back nine, we started under. with a par three, then a par four, and now we get to a par five. The 12th is 576 yards. Yeah, a nice blend of holes there that you've just referenced. 11 bends to the left. Consequently, well, actually played pretty well. The other direction, good drive required. Um, from there, it, just I mean, setting up perhaps uh, say, you know, seven or six is iron an easier into a course, green that's sort of fairly uniform in shape and uh, should present a birdie with a good second shot. I was saying that, that the wind. I'm going to go four. I'm maybe going to get a bit of loft in it. Maybe hit it within. Although we do slight over swing, so we hit it pretty much full. I was going to try and hit it under, like a little under swing. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction uh, of that ball when it hit up, the green. I have so to say, there's not really much break in it. Mm. Yep, good not putt. bad. Good putt. I had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. Nothing to it. It's a birdie it's a here at 12. Easy. And with that, his score moves to 26 under par. Nine now shot we did the moment. 13. Frank, what are the options here? Well, another straight one required here, Rich. It's uh, 450. It's not overly long in today's standard, but still, that fairway will do that. I need to go for power drive, but I'm in the hit and, mode. Uh, it once changes again, you. short of a green. So as long as you can fly that second shot to at least the front of the green, then they really do not come into play. You don't really get a lot of room on these fairways. Saturday of golf here, and so there's the, 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 the another fine one, so it's going to be so I own it. This is second uh, from the fairways, I suppose. Yes, it's 126 Softer. yards left to the flag. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely yeah, need to account for that. On this. Maybe even slightly over over hit it. My under swing could be short. We needed that over swing. Yeah, it's going to be miles away. And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realise if you just miss it, the middle of the club, by a quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. Not much. It's pretty flat. I'm just going to hit it straight up. I don't want people to deviate too much. You know, yeah, there's maybe just a, a slight deviation there, but it's one of those putts you could have moved it to the right and it would have missed to the left. It's well judged. That putt. is in for par here at 13. Yeah, Puffy coming he'll up. He'll remain right where he is. Yeah, I don't see Matsuyama. He's not. He's either 15 under or or below that. There is plenty of trouble out there. Good par three here. So we've got at least a 11, 12 shot lead over Matsuyama. And there's a bunker short 
Right. Uh, so you've got to we've fly got... that coming in there, and uh, if you do miss time one, that's when that body of water to the right quite, really comes into play. Typical Floridian golf, but um, high win. flying, soft landing tee shot once again is the goal. Oh, could be good. Set, don't spend too much. Oh, beautiful. That's a fun beautiful. tee shot to hit right there. You know the wind is at your back. You tee it high and just let Level. it go. Get it up there in the jet stream, and that's just what he did. He's going to love that. Perfect. Ah, that's that's how it. you play this 14 pole. That's and even Par five perfect. next. And that is going to move him to We're absolutely seven under par. Here. 10 shot lead over Harmon. Next up, the final 12 shot lead over the day here at the Lady 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 I might just have a normal approach. I think we should have enough to get there. Come on. Oh, it's too long. Okay. Should have like a, probably a pitch here. Will be good. Couple yards short. Let it roll up. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, we let it win too much. Still a buddy chance though. That was not a good pitch actually. Now this for one another below. birdie. Well, you reckon it's going to turn a little bit? Ah, I'm waiting to send a cutter on point late here in the three round. Birdie holes to go. Fourteen and fifteen. I, I reckon we can get thirty under. Twenty-eight easy. under par. We begin the finishing stretch here at the wetlands with a 455-yard par 416. Looking for another straight tee shot here. Yeah, the approach drive. leads to a green are so big. well protected by four oh, bunkers. Fall through there. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here and this yeah, another fine tee shot. 125 to the pin. We're going to go finesse. Probably actually going to hit this. Maybe even just a slight overswing, I think. To account for the spin back. Yeah, it's actually pitched short, so... I'm barely even clubbing up. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. This would be a big bonus if it went in quite more a bit. likely. Just trying to get it's this one close. A little bit of break, it's not much. Uh, yeah, just missed. Good effort though. Okay, mm, good part. Didn't want to let that one get away. Two holes he to go. Par here at 16, and he's going to stay. He could get eight under par. 29 under maybe. Another longish par three here at the wetlands. This one, the 238 yards, 17. A bunker are quite on cool either they're, they're side they're of the green. The tee shot fits a golfer that can shape uh, it a bit from right to left. Do you know, I feel like hitting this, a bit of height, maybe take just a smidge off. It's drifting a little bit to the to the left. It's not bad number wise. Uh, what can we do He's been here? Good all day around the greens. This is second. I'll do a little check out. A bit. Oh, it's a baby. There's a bubble. Oh, Come on. Everything is coming up. Roses for our lead. How about this? Holding it from off the <coughs> to extend that lead. Oh, Dr. Chapinski. 
No, we are absolutely. I mean, it's, club. it's par four. It's not a long one. Three hundred and seventy-seven yards. If we don't win this there tournament, there must be some trouble out there somewhere. Well, not to, really. If you the next round, then we're the probably going to lose round to ever. Plus, somebody will need to shoot a short a decent round to, to, three wood, to get to yards. Do the maths. It's only one hundred and twenty yards score, left. Power drive. With that, with a scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet. Finish with a birdie. But if you stray. Then what? Oh no, no, we don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last Actually, hole. Actually, do you know, I, I was thinking, thinking about gators. Gators that this there? is not a long uh, hole. There's gator on the menu. Oh, that's golden. That's a chance to get an even. That's a definite birdie. Not for most in this field. I should get it to 30 under. Guy, like 2 yes, 2 above. He has just not done. That's quite a bit of bleed. What a shot. Oh, that's a bad effort. At least we gave it enough. Chance now for another birdie. Yeah, I'll stay on that. Yeah, that's how to end it. Back to back birdies be, uh, at 17 60, and 18. Pretty good score. So a final look at so, the leaderboard, and this has just been a runaway so far. Decky Matsy Amos 14 on these 16 shots back. If we've got, no, in fact, Scott Sheffler's there as well. I'm still scratching my head trying uh, to find the difference see, between, you know, Scott Sheffler's 14. But it's just, so it'll probably be a imagined Scott Sheffler, but it could be Matsuyama. I don't know what, so how they would Nabilo, determine the who's going to be. Iona Steven, and a cast of I mean, Matsuyama got 65. You've been watching Chef was a 66. So did they do it? Who got a better score in the, in so the final everyone. round? Uh, but I think we've won this tournament by a long shot. So there we go. That is the uh, third round of the the Florida Classic at Wetlands Golf and Country Club. Um, I'm actually, the AI scoring difficulty I've actually put up to 100. So we have got final round for the AI pairings, which I'm probably going to just do. I, I think it'll be quite interesting just to see how... I, I would reckon that the AI is going to score pretty well. Um... I mean, even if you have a bad round, if you still shoot a couple under par, the AI would have to shoot something like like a 57 or something like that. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.